I'm gonna need one of those H bars. I'm just gonna, we will need one of these. We won't need the second one for right now. Now we'll grab the B's, and that's gonna have our hardware in there too. So we're gonna go ahead and take that out. This is eventually gonna all be bolted together. There we go. And that's gonna be 16 inches wide. six to eight inch section between these two. It's mounted into the frame about eight inches past that. The propeller is gonna be around 10 and a half. Once it bends, whatever I leave, it's gonna take me about five and a half inches there. This is just a rough estimate. This is not start the bending process about a half inch. I have to have like about a half inch clearance here. So I want, I want that much hanging out. So what I mean by hanging out is when I have this set up, I, I normally only have about a half inch clearance when it starts. But I don't think that'll give me the clearance I need. So I'm gonna move that down here. So that, that mark, I start my bend here. And that should give me enough distance once the bend is finished to protect the head but not be anywhere close to the prop. So this is really thin walled so I'm not sure how well it's going to bend. So it might warp, it might break, I don't know, we'll see. nice and slow you see our mark here three inches actually three and a half now one thing I want to note these little attachment points I want them facing out but I don't want to come in contact with that on the rolling process so if I get close to that it may break this is much harder to bend than aluminum you can tell it's kind of warping it's not bending well but it should still have enough strength as long as it doesn't fold too much. Yeah. It's pretty darn close. So I'm just kind of eyeballing it for right now. Let's go up right to about there. Yep, that's about as 90 as I'm gonna get on that Same one. Same location, so I'm not off. Oh man, I'm kind of afraid to go much further. All right, so we didn't get any of that buckling on that one. That looks pretty good. I'm just gonna run these down by hand. Not flying this thing, if it's light enough, I will be sure and lock these down some way. It brings it over when I set it down on the ground. Pretty good. That puts us right at six inches. Right there. And I'll do the same thing on the other side. safety buttons I'll probably just put a rivet in it just to hold it together oh man yeah so I'm gonna remove that little snap I'm gonna save it in case I ever want to use it for something else Woo! <laughs> don't have that thing pointed towards you all right this yeah. stuff is extremely hard it's gonna be hard to drill into I'm not gonna try to match that hole because it may be too large for the rivet that I have. But what I am going to do is try to get this thing level at a right angle.
the Dremel, I used my 3 16th drill bit and then I put a rivet in 3 16th. So you can see that's 5 millimeter 3 16th. I can still move this around. All right, those line up. I need a larger rivet and I could just rivet that in instead of snapping it. Let me go see if I've got one that'll fit that. I'm going to place these back in because I don't have rivets large enough for that and later on I'll put a rivet in. Probably should go get a screwdriver. There we go. Got that one in. We'll replace these when the rivets come in this afternoon but I just want to start assembling it and I don't want it to keep falling apart. So I'll leave those snaps in. Now if you wanted something to disassemble I don't know that I would leave those in. Especially for something I'm flying. All right. So that's where we're at so far. I'm debating right now whether I want to put something in between here. I kind of do for a gas tank, but it's going to add extra weight. When I'm already going to mount something to the bottom to extend out so that the hoop has something to come down to attach to. 